This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we got 21 Savage, okay? He came out with an album out of nowhere. I mean, I, I know he had, like, billboards up and everything, but it wasn't, like, a super announcement. There was no lead up. But the guy just came off tour a few months ago, right? So he came off tour a few months ago. And, you know, why not? <laughs> Why not drop an album? Everybody's, and you know, I'm going to tell you, I, I listened to it. Um, if you're a 21 Savage fan, you'll like this album. It's consistent with what he puts out. Um, am I a huge 21 Savage fan? No, but I, I, I like certain songs by 21 Savage. You know, you got Doja Cat on here. You got Metro Boomin, Young Thug. You got Lil Dark. You got Travis Scott, Summer Walker. Um, Burner Boy, Metro Boomin. I listened to it. Mariah the Scientist is on there. I listened to it. He took some shots at Gunna and Red Sky, you know, if you want to, you know, get into that. But uh, that's about it. I, li I listened to the album. Very consistent with Young, uh, with 21 Savage. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what a standout song is on this one because you can usually hear his standout songs. But, you know, this is going to sell big units. Twenty. He has this fan base that loves him you know so uh anyways the last album yeah i, I like savage mode too it was good uh her loss was okay it was cool um and this is just as good as savage mode Two, probably so i would say like seven to eight out of ten you know for for consistency you'll like it you'll like it um he called Kai to promote it. He didn't call academics yet, though. I, I, I see Kai is necessary for culture because it's like hip hop supposed to be fun. Hip hop and rap are supposed to be fun, right? And Kai's fun, you know. So I don't like when people like people like diss Kai. Like, oh yeah, he, he should people rappers shouldn't be going to him, but like. It's a good balance because you can go to him and you can go sit down with like, you know, Breakfast Club, get into an interview. You can sit down with Gillian Wallow and get a different interview. He can talk to academics and get a totally different interview, you know. So everybody plays their part. Everybody offers something different, you know, just like when we had when we were doing DVDs back in the days, you know, at the come up, you had like Cocaine City, you had Smack. Everything offered a different feel. You got something different from each one. And even you could take stuff from one and then ask somebody something on another to respond to the smack comment, you know? So they all kind of work together. Jay-Z, everybody's hyping up this nine-minute song with, with D'Angelo, right? Really, it's uh, it's this... I don't even know the guy's name that went to the Breakfast Club, and you could call me... Whatever you want for no Let's actually look it up because I want to see. Maybe I'm bugging. Okay. Breakfast Club. Maybe he's director. Interviews. YouTube. He was on there talking about it and he was also did something with Elliot Wilson talking about it. Here he is. James Samuel. Oh, maybe I do know who this guy is. I mean, I don't know who he is that well, but the book of Clarence coming out. I'm sure it's going to be a good movie. And Jay Z's. Is Jay Z doing the soundtrack or he had something to do with the movie itself? Let me see. James Samuel. James Samuel, 44 years old, Book of Clarence. Let's see. James Samuel is also known by a stage name. The Boots is a British singer, songwriter. Okay, that's why I don't know who he is. Producer and filmmaker. They Die by Dawn and other short series. So he's from London. What is he known for, though? They uh, released in 2013, Harder They Fall. He did a score for that. Original folk prequel, When It Rains, non-album single, 2000. Bruh, I've never heard of this guy in my life. I take it all back. Let's see, films, writer, yes. No, no, no. Jay Z legacy. Oh, he, he he's just like Jay Z's guy. He did something with the Great Gatsby. Writer, no. Director, no. Producer, no. 
composer, yes. So he's more of a behind the scenes executive producer type of guy. Arctic Dogs have come co written by Aaron Whitley. He composed on this. So he's like a composer. He's like for movies and stuff. The Book of Clarence. He wrote movie, directed the movie, produced the movie, composed the movie, right? All right. So let's see how this movie comes out. This is his first really big movie. I think The Harder They Fall is an American Western film directed by James Samuel. And he directed Jay-Z's Jay-Z Legacy. Let's see. He hasn't done a lot of stuff, you know? So it's like some people are just lucky, man. I'm going to be honest with you. He's done like one, two, three, four, five, six films. That's it? Dude. Anyways, they're overhyping that Jay-Z song. I bet you it's like mid. I'm going to be honest with you. They always do that. Uh, Rick Ross and his uh, ex, this is his baby mom, so he got tacos. I didn't take a picture of the tacos. I swore I took a picture of the tacos. He got tacos from his current girl, and this girl is going off. I think it's her going off like, oh, oh, he, he made them ranky, which they ranky ass tacos. You know, it's like sounds like a hater over here. Okay, I, now Rick Ross supposedly doesn't always pay her child support. Supposedly, I don't know, but uh, anyways. Uh, that's a whole thing in itself. Uh, these two going back and forth with each other. I wonder if he's going to address her or just let her be. Probably just let her be. People were posting it, though. I saw Live Bites posting it. So, eh, might have to answer. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. I'll check you guys later. Peace.